It's the most wonderful time of the year. And no, I'm not talking about Christmas. Get that stuff out of here. It is Halloween time. So according to the website Today in Destiny, it appears that Festival of the Lost is going to be starting on October 12th. But let's go ahead and jump the gun here and let's get started on all of these spooky festivities. And actually, since we're on the topic of Festival of the Lost, I am going to be making a video on all of the like dinosaur armor that we're going to be getting. So yeah, get subscribed for that. But anyway, about five months ago, I did this short video right here. And in that video, you guys saw like a pumpkin slash like Halloween build there. And a lot of you guys were interested in that. Now I've been waiting all of this time to finally make this video. But instead of just showing you a look that I've already shown you, I did make some tweets to that original look because first of all, it wasn't mine. I kind of just took that from Reddit. There's a link down below to that post, by the way. And I went ahead and I added two more fashion builds that you can do with this pumpkin head. I will be leaving timestamps down below. That way you can skip to the one that you want to see or you can just stick around and see all three of them. And if you guys have any Halloween builds of your own, go ahead and join my Discord server. That way you can go ahead and show me. And if you guys want me to make like a hunter version of this or like a warlock version of this, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, go ahead and leave a like on this video as well. And now let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is going to be our little friend, and he hasn't changed too much from that short video, but we did switch out the legs. So let's take a look at his armor. For the helmet, of course, we are rocking the jack-o'-lantern mask from the Festival of the Lost. For the arms, we have on the Bullsmith Iron Gauntlets. So these are going to be from the Scourge of the Past raid. For the chest plate, we have the Plate of Nor, and this is going to be from the Leviathan raid. And for the legs, we are going to be wearing the Lycan Greaves. And uh, the reason I chose these instead of the Dude Marchers is because of how like big and stumpy they are. So they just fit perfectly because of course we're trying to achieve maximum thickness here. And for the mark, we are going to be wearing the Virtuous Mark. And this one, of course, we chose just because of the wide hips it gives us. It really covers the space in between the legs and the massive chest plate right here. And it just gives us a lot more C's added on to our look. And for the shaders, everything is going to have the Vanguard Unity shaders. Of course, there are plenty of other Vanguard shaders that could work that are also orange. But I just thought that the Vanguard Unity shader had a little bit more of a duller orange, something that matched the pumpkin head a lot better. And now for our second pumpkin friend of the day. So for the arms, we're going to be going for the Iron Forerunner Gauntlets. So these come from the latest Iron Banner. It's currently going on right now in case you want these. For the chest, we have the Carrick Type 2. You can use this chest plate or you can use any of the other chest plates that look like this. So things like uh, the new Monarchy chest plates, uh, something like the Future War Cult one, any of those like really big and thick ones. And for the legs, we have on the Turris Shade Greaves. I believe these come from the Eater of Worlds raid. I'll correct myself in the bottom left corner if I'm wrong there. But I like the bumps on these legs and I like the blades coming off of the shins. Everything just makes it look a lot more creature-like, especially with these like little horns coming off of the shoulders. It makes the pumpkin look a lot creepier and a lot more of a monster. And this time for the mark we have on the Legatus mark, like I've been talking about throughout this video, the goal here is just to be as thick as possible. And what better mark to use than the Legatus mark, just because this mark is completely huge. It really looks comedic with a lot of our armor pieces. But when you use big and thick armor like this, it looks right at home. And for the shaders, we haven't changed anything. We still have the Vanguard Unity shader. Like I said before, you can switch this out with basically any of the orange shaders. I'm just basically using this one just because it is the closest orange that we have to our Festival of the Lost mask right here. So for this one, we're going to switch it up a little bit from the pumpkin. So we're still going to be having the pumpkin mask. But this time we're going to be going with something a little bit sleeker. And for this theme, we're kind of going for like a forgotten warrior or like a headless horseman or just some like creepy thing that came out of the forest. That's why we have a bunch of fur going on up here. 
And to achieve that, we have on the Meridian Constellation Plate, and for the arms, we have on the Lightkin Gauntlets. So this kind of helps add to like the creepiness factor. All of these like little holes here, everything that's protruding out from the arms, it's just kind of creepy. And then helping add to that is going to be the Dreambane Mark. It's all torn up, it's all tattered, it's all like destroyed. So that kind of helps add to the theme there. And for the legs, these just kind of fit the best onto this. So these are going to be the Legatus Greaves. And instead of Vanguard Marshall this time, we're going to have the Horizons Beyond Shader. My only complaint here is that the fur is kind of two different colors here. It doesn't bother me too much and no one's going to notice it from far away though. But if you don't have Horizons Beyond, you can also just try on Vanguard Unity as well, and it still works. Um, whenever I threw on Horizons Beyond, I just kind of liked the darker look. But of course, if you still want to be bright and bold, you can still do so. And just like that, we've reached the end of the video. Like I said, if you guys want me to make like a Hunter version of this or like a Warlock version of this, maybe using like a different mask or maybe using the same mask, just let me know in the comments down below. Also, go ahead and subscribe because we're going to be releasing a bunch of Festival of the Lost videos. For example, we're going to be going over the dinosaur armor, we're going to be doing a fashion contest around the dinosaur armor, and we're also going to be doing a fashion contest around the Festival of the Lost mask. And if you do want to help me make those videos, if you do want to participate in all of those contests, go ahead and click on that link down below to join my Discord server. I hope you guys have a wonderful October, enjoy all of the festivities, get lots of candy, and enjoy Festival of the Lost. If you want to see any more fashion related content, go ahead and click on any of the videos popping up in the end card right now. And as always, Guardians, stay beautiful.